guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for the 15th of September 2023. We'll be using the out of hand tarot. That'll be in the description box down below. Let's see what's going on. And holy heck, we have massive amounts of cards, if you can't notice, on the table. Um, I didn't count them. There's there's quite a few. There's six major arcanas. One ace is on the table. And we have lots of synchronicities also on the table. We have the five of pentacles, the page of pentacles, the nine of cups, the chariot, the four of cups, the six of cups in the reverse, the king of swords, the nine of swords in the reverse, the four of swords in the reverse, the ten of pentacles in the reverse, the two of swords in the reverse, the five of cups in the reverse, the ten of swords, the eight of wands in the reverse, the eight of cups in the reverse, the queen of pentacles in the reverse, the page of cups in the reverse, the two of wands in the reverse, the wheel of fortune in the reverse, the seven of pentacles in the reverse, the fool, the two of pentacles in the reverse, the ace of cups in the reverse, the tower in the reverse, the knight of wands, death in the reverse, hermit in the reverse, king of pentacles, and we end on the six of pentacles. Okay. So starting out, we have three synchronicities. We have 999, 222, and 101010 10, 10. starting out. Just what's right here. And because we have so many retrograde planets at, at the moment, even though Mercury is going direct, there's a two-week um, post-shadow period, we feel a, a little put out. You know, we're not able to do new things. We're not able to have a lot of new opportunity. Our finances are you know not what we are wishing and hoping for at the time or at least for not right now but more you know more importantly we're not getting the opportunities that we feel we deserve there's things that we're wishing for hoping for that we're not able to fully launch into and we've been in that energy for a while and we may not entirely realize that logically we shouldn't really stress ourselves out quite so much about the enforced timeout, the um, slowed period of retrogrades that we've had, because it serves a purpose. We, we just see, you know, um, us not being able to do what we want, um, very much uh, our own personal perspective, but we're slowed down for a reason and it's to look at things that are not quite up to par things that really need a, a final decision on for betterment things that we can correct mistakes we can fix things that need to finally be brought to an end so we're perso personally being slowed down in order to look at the things we haven't left behind, the things that we haven't cut off, the things we haven't corrected, the things that um, are maybe hindering our future, whether that is in the physical realm or even our emotions. And we may not even be aware of what those items are. And it's because we're not focusing on them. We're literally not focusing on them. And it's only until we slow down and we get the extra obstacles with the retrogrades that we realize maybe we're investing some of our energy in the wrong areas. We're paying attention to the wrong things. And it's all because things have shifted and stuff's being revealed. The good news is that we can, we can start again. Um, looking at areas of unbalance, things that are adding to our deprived state or lacking, things that really aren't fulfilling us, that have stayed too long. So when we really start looking at that area again, we get flashes of inspiration of where we need that change, where that 
energy needs to be directed. Because once we do that, then our, our period of, you know, solitude, our, our little time out from the retrogrades, us being hindered, um, lessens. Instead, we're able to actually start to change it. We have the ability to um, have an effect on our world, to bring the balance. Because right now, a lot of us are not feeling that balance. We feel a little unsteady on our feet or emotionally off balance, put it that way. Some of that we're, we're seeing as a, a lack mindset, just the inability to move, being uncomfortable, things coming up. Well, they're coming up for a reason. And it's so you can address them, bring balance back to them. And if I remember right, that's also in the astrology um, for the day, besides Mercury retrograde going direct. Let me look. Mercury going direct in Virgo. Yeah, start to get back on track with work that you need to finish, get organized again. May take a little time to adjust and feel like normal. Moon in Libra. It's important to bring some balance to life, yes. Which helps you feel emotionally secure. And the question you should probably ask yourself is, what have you not had time for lately? Okay, in other words, what are you not focusing on? Because, like, there's something in life that's a, a big shift for you, um, life-changing shift. And having retrogrades pile up the way they have is one of those um, ways to do a, a big final ending to something to get that additional um, push out of a cycle to really close things down and move on um, move on or level up in a way that is life altering. Simply because we're forced to slow down, we're forced to assess things, we're not able to ignore a lot of things, we're not able to lie to ourselves quite as much. We're slowed down, so we're not quite as busy. We have, you know, less distractions that way. Let me make sure there's nothing else they want me to address. I keep bringing you back to the two of wands. Beware of where your focus is. Because your focus should be on areas where your emotions are off kilter. That's your hint. Okay. And we do have, for the sake of numerology, everything adds up to 160, which ultimately reduces to 7. Um, we have the Chariot and the Seven of Pentacles. So with the numerology, we do have 777 seven, seven showing up as well, besides the 999, 10, 10, 10, and the 222. Um, you might be seeing those repeated numbers. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to go ahead and leave all these very many cards on the table. Um, let me know if you resonate with any of this. Hopefully you are surviving what's left of Mercury Retrograde. Uh, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> We're all exhausted, so sorry for that. Um, but yeah, let me know if this resonates for you. Feel free to share that with me in the um, comment section down below. Feel free to also share the video anywhere online. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.